Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew, and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So I just wanted to point out two updates that Clip Studio Paint has made. They dropped the update on December 23rd of 2020, and it's for version 1.10.6. Um, now, one of these updates it works for any version of Clip Studio Paint, whether Pro or EX. And the other is only exclusively for EX. And that is, you can now import uh, Photoshop brushes into Clip Studio Paint. And it's very easy. Uh, you can search on Google, or um, if you know an artist that, ha that makes Photoshop brushes and sells them, you can buy them. But uh, essentially, Photoshop brushes are these .abr files. And the way you um, upload them into Clip Studio Paint is as easy as drag and drop. So this uh, file here is uh, charcoal. So because they are charcoal, what I usually do is look for something that is close to charcoal as possible. So if I come here to my pencil uh, tools, I can see pencils and I see pastels. So this charcoal brush tool would fit perfectly here. So all I do is, you know, it doesn't matter if you have it on um, pencil or pastels, just drag it and drop it. And what it will do, it will create a new sub tool for you. So here you go, you have charcoal now. Let me make this a little bit. So you can see that you have charcoal um, Photoshop. You can change the name if you want uh, if you right click and click the settings you can change the name to whatever you want but here essentially are Photoshop brushes you can go into the settings and change them however you want I'll let you guys explore that because uh, right now they look kind of weird um, so yeah I'll let you guys explore that now if you wanted to upload some um, Clip Studio Paint brushes, you can come here to the uh, Assets page. Over here in the Clip Studio Assets, where it says Find Brushes and More. Uh, so I just search for free brushes. Again, there are people who sell brushes You can if you want to buy them, but this particular one was free. You can see it says Redownload because I've already downloaded it before. So when you come into Clip Studio Paint, you have to log in. And once you log in, you click the download. If it's free, you can download it or you can pay. I'm not sure how you pay, but I know you can pay. And then once you click the download, these double arrows here will give you a little window of, of the progress of your download. And once it's finished downloading, you don't even have to restart Clip Studio Paint. All you have to do is on this uh, right-hand side, these uh, tabs, Look for the tab that says Downloads. Uh, so the it'll have all these folders. Look for the folder Download. And it should be somewhere in there. I can see it right here. So these are all the brushes that downloaded from uh, Clip Studio Paint Assets. Again, this one, uh, you can download them one by one. Or you can, I don't know if you can do them all at once. But I'll, I know that I've already downloaded one and it's right here in the pencils now this one won't create a new sub tool for you you just pretty much put them into existing so what I like to do is you can see the little icon of a pencil so if it's it has a pencil put it in the pencils if it has a brush put it in the brush so I'm gonna try this brush I don't know if it's a watercolor or what but it looks like ink so I'm gonna go with India ink and I'm just gonna grab it and drop it here and there is the uh, OBP again you can um, you can go into the uh, settings of this particular sub tool if you come to these three little marks here and you go sub tool settings you can change oh that's the of the whole not the individual brush where is uh, setting of subtool? 
and so you can change the name there uh, and so that's pretty much how you can install brushes into Clip Studio Paint from either Photoshop which are again are uh, what do they call those dot uh, ABR files those are the Photoshop brushes or you can uh, download them from the assets um, website and just drag and drop them just like that now uh, the other thing is the PDF uh, now you can export your files into PDF so when you're ready to print your uh, comic book or whatever you you're drawing you can now um, export it out in PDF. So I'm just going to let me draw some here. This is one of the brushes I downloaded. So so let's say I have that, and if it's just a single page, no problem. You can do single page, but you come here to where it says export multiple pages. It says PDF, and you come up with this window here and the first one is where do you want it to save I'm just gonna say desktop so we'll just put it on the desktop and give it a name so I'm just gonna call it comic and now see this is why it's only for EX because you can do multiple pages but obviously I only have one page um, and so if you do multiple pages it'll say comic 1, comic 2, comic 3 all the way down the line um, you can also do split the spread pages so if, if you have a comic book and you're doing like two pages that are connected to make one giant page you click that and it'll separate it for you or you can just leave them together hit OK and then you should be familiar with this is just choose how you want your page outputted the color or black and white and if you want to scale it up and down and you hit OK now here you can put uh, certain information that can be tagged along with your PDF you can put the title the subject uh, who you are keywords and stuff like that uh, by default it, it's uh, put on zip so if you have multiple pages again it'll compress it all into a zip file or if you want you can just do individual individual uh, a JPEG image and you can set it at any kind of a setting here. I'm, I'm just going to put JPEG high. Um, and then hit OK. And it should be that, that quick. And there it is. So now you can export a PDF. You, can, you don't have to find a website to convert your JPEGs into PDFs. Okay, so those were just two of the updates that have been updated in Clip Studio Paints version 1.10.6. And um, so, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys uh, found this informative. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos like this one. And if you got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments of any of my videos. Um, if I can't answer them in the comments, I will uh, make sure to make a video of it so that everybody can learn from it. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one.